of Split Game Friends. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to review another Disney movie slash TV show, and that is Sleeping Beauty. That's right, guys. You guys can see on the DVD and also on the board there. You guys can see. So, Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. And before we do, if you want to subscribe and want to support me, please do me a favor to the just just a sub. Drive to the channel, smash the like button, turn the notifications on. You guys want to see more videos? And now, with my friends, let's review Sleepy Beauty that came out back in 1959. So, let's do it. So, Sleeping Beauty, um, 1959 movie. So, first of all, guys, I already know Sleeping Beauty is a a Disney movie. So we we know it's a Disney movie, right? But so, but one thing you guys didn't know, I've never seen this movie before. And you guys like, oh, so I've never seen Sleeping Beauty before? What? It's a classic! But don't worry guys, I have now, I, I have seen it until now. So, I've seen it three times now. And, um, and let me tell you guys, I absolutely really enjoyed this movie. And the reason why I enjoyed this movie is because... One is Disney, two is about princess, and that's really cool. I know it's weird for a guy to watch in princess movies, but but, it, but come on, it's Disney, right? It's Disney. Like, like who loves Disney? I love Disney, and I know you guys love Disney too, so that's really cool, right? So, basically, um, this movie is based on a book, and uh, one of the, I think it was Han... I think it was written by um, Charles Perrault, uh, Perrault, Perrault, Perrault actually wrote the story of St. Beauty, that's what the story is based on, and that's really, really cool, so basically, yeah, and also guys, in, in order my opinion, I actually love this movie, so that's really cool, the reason I love this movie, the, the reason why I love this movie, once again, is Disney to the prince about princess and three got a villain in it, a really good villain, Maleficent, really cool, got, got a really cool um, motive and all that kind of stuff, and that's really cool, right? So yeah, so, so so guys, let's get so now guys, let's go, let's get into the story of this movie, shall we? So I have watched the movie, and uh, like I said, I have. Um, do my synopsis as well. So guys, please sit back and enjoy. It could be awesome. So yeah. So synopsis says here, filled with jealousy. That's Maleficent. Je jealousy, right? The evil and hate and hatred fairy Maleficent, who casts a deadly curse on Prince Aurora, to prick her finger on a spinning sewing sewing wheel. That sewing wheel, right? So clothes, yeah. And die, but thanks to Mayweather, one in the blue, right? One of Aurora's guardian fairies, she only falls into a deep sleep that can be ended with a true love kiss. Yeah, from her betrothed means uh, means who she um, who she going to marry? Yeah, who she going to marry to? Yeah, um, and charming. Prince Philip, but to prevent the prince from saving Aurora, Maleficent kidnaps and imprisons him. The good fairies are the last hope to save Philip, to free Philip, so that he can awaken Aurora and stop Maleficent once and for all. So, basically, guys, the basic guys, this movie is about um, is about Princess Aurora, who actually been. Ashley, Ashley got a curse from, well, gifted a curse from uh, Maleficent, this evil fairy. People think she's a witch, but she ain't. She's an uh, evil fairy. And she's filled with jealousy and hatred and all that stuff. Well, she's an evil mistress, right? And she actually cast a fell on Aurora to, so when she hit her 16th birthday, Right guys, when she hit her 16th birthday, 
that's where she will prick her finger on a spinning wheel and basically die. But, but to good fairies who actually gave her a victory gift. One in beauty, one for singing, like singing, right? The other one is for, like, instead of die, she just fall into a deep sleep, like um, Snow White. Yeah, like Snow White. And she'll be waken by two little friends kiss, right? So, so to prevent that, um, the, basically, the good fairy had a plan to take Aurora away and to protect her from, from the curse, basically. So, basically, yeah, and, um, so they do so, they do so, and, uh, they do so, and the next 15, no, 15 years later, Aurora actually became a young girl, uh, the name of Briar Rose, and she was, um, doing her own thing, so the very after, the girl gets more berries, because they're doing their supplies for her. So, the fairies actually do some, um, actually do some, like, um, basically, they were mortals for 16 years, because they actually got rid of the wings, their powers, and all that kind of stuff, so that should be, like, humans, right? So that's what they were, that's what they were pretending to be, that's what they were, were yeah, mortals. And, uh, so basically, um, after that, um, they were doing some, I think it was Fauna, Flora, I think Fauna was doing the dress, Flora was doing the cake, Mayweather maybe was doing, was being a model for her, basically. But, because of that, she wanted to use the, the ones, but they can't because what happens, like, what if Aurora, uh, aka Bray Rolls, actually suspects um, their magic, right? Their, uh, their, their true identity, right? Their true personalities, their true, uh, abilities, right? But to do so, so then it went out of play, it went absolutely not really good. So then they used magic, basically. They used a lot of magic, basically. So then we cut to, so, here's later, we see Aurora, who's singing, singing with the, um, with with her animal friends like um like Snow White and Cinderella and all those who has animal friends they actually singing and she, and I just thought he goes I know you the ones upon a dream basically and she was dancing with the owl just as a, as a, a Prince Philip. Yeah, Prince Philip guy is now an adult. And he has to check the, the song that he found her. But he does know her true identity. <coughs> basically. So that was a nice, nice uh, romantic thing. And so basically, um, she goes. And she's not for strangers. So she goes home. So this is where the fairies actually tells her who she is. So it tells her to take her all the way back to the, to the castle, and so to a home, right? To Prince, to King Stefan, and to the the queen who has no name, basically. So the, she go there, and take her to the tower, and this is where Maleficent Ashley <coughs> goes to fulfill the curse. So basically, she forced her to do it, to touch the spinning wheel, and then she went, like, like dropped and, like the good fairy thinks she's dead, but she ain't. She ain't. She fall asleep. They, they put on the bed. On the floor. They, they, so they go and they have to put everyone to sleep, including the teens and queens, basically in the sleep. But. I think the fauna actually found out that <coughs> that the boy that made that Brad Rose was on about, aka Aurora, was Prince Philip. So they decided to go all the way back to the cottage where they found out Prince Philip was kidnapped, captured by Maleficent. Right? 
So they go all the way to Forbidden Mountains and to save him. They do so, they save him. Um, Jack, Jack got rid of the crow basically. Millicent casts a spell on the, the whole wildlife, on the, the thorns basically. So then um, she, she turns herself into a dragon. Into a dragon basically. So Priscilla gives her the shield of faith and the sword of truth. So basically he was batting her basically. Doing his actual um, weapon thing we do like. Like when the dragon, we fight the dragon, we slay the dragon, right? That's what he was doing. And so we do that. He throws the sword into Maleficent. She falls over the cliff to her death. So then he goes all the way to the to the tower, kiss Aurora, she has to awakens, and then the whole the whole kingdom and the, the commoners and everybody was absolutely as it went like cheering like yay woman like that and basically they were, they were really happy to see her and she kissed her father in law that's really cool yeah and uh, basically have a nice dance then we see the the the, the, the good fairies see them and um Fauna and Mayweather Mayweather at the final for the colour the colour of the dress. Basically one goes pink whether it look no Blue, as you know, pink, blue, pink, blue. You know, it's pink, blue. They keep, oh no, 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 no again. <laughs> they did that same thing in the cottage, going blue, 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 pink. You know what I mean? So, basically, yeah, so, yeah. So, guys, that was the story of Sleeping Beauty. Let me tell you, that story was really cool, right? I like the story, I love the story because it's, it's basically a, a Sleeping Beauty of, version of Snow White. So you guys didn't know Sleeping Beauty was was um her nationality was France, right? She based in France. But right? in France, right? And that was really cool, yeah, that was really cool because she got her own castle in Disneyland because I actually saw the saw it in person it was really really cool and really awesome. So yeah. So guys before I go, I'm gonna rate this movie out of 10. That's we could rate this movie out of 10. So, my notes my favorite scenes is Aurora singing to the forest with the animals. She goes, oh, oh, oh. I don't know why that was Star Trek, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. So, basically, yeah. Um, another thing Aurora meets Prince Philip. That was really nice. He goes, I know you the ones up on the dream basically and also the good fairies magic on Rose cake and dress that was really cool right and also the the, the, the cleaning and that stuff is really cool and uh, Prince fights Maleficent dragon that was really cool love that and and dance where they're doing that pink blue pink blue she's like pink no blue no pink I mean that's what I mean <laughs> No mean you go know, like that. But yeah. So guys, that was my review of Sleeping Beauty. Let me tell you I love the movie. It's now one of my favourite Disney movies of all time. One of my favourite classic movies of all time. And I really loved it. So basically yeah. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Um tomorrow is my part thirty two. Of Batman Return to Arkham City, so please do not miss that video. It'll be awesome. And also, guys, my next review is going to be Batman. Do you think of me? Do you know what they do? What? The Lego Batman movie. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do next Wednesday. So, I hope you, all, I hope you guys will enjoy this review. It'll be awesome, yeah. And also, guys, next Saturday, we will be doing. Deep Blue Sea. Yeah, Deep Blue Sea with the shark, right? We didn't know if we did. Yes, we did do another shark movie next week. Do we ask me, right? Um, do you guys know I did Jaws, right? You love that video, right? You love that video. So basically, yeah. <laughs> so, guys, thanks so much for watching. And also, thank you so much once again 
for over 1k i really 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 appreciate it. you guys are the best and all the girls mwah, that's for you this for you boys and and also thanks so much for your support little comment you guys are the best and basically yeah and guys please let me know in the comments below which video game you let me do to do on the channel we play next on the channel and it's going to be Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Disneyland Adventures, Batman Arkham Knight, um, Halo, or you, you want to see Minecraft, or do you want to see, um, do you want to see Lego Star Wars, or uh, Mad Max, or Sniper Elite, I just looking on, on my Xbox games, you want to see Rage, Rage 2, you want to see Far Cry on the channel guys, Far Cry Prime. Far Cry Primal or Far Cry 4 or 6 or anything or GTA Do you want to see GTA on the channel? Let me know in the comments below That was so cool basically yeah So guys thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time For more videos like these and basically yeah And so yeah and also guys um, I think later on today I will be doing a nice video comments video Pretty cool so yeah And also Monday is our part 7 of Dress Revolution 2 Please don't miss that, it'll be awesome. So basically, yeah. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all next time for more videos. Yeah. So guys, please take care of yourself. They're awesome. And bye.